What's going on, DZ team? It's Z here. Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be going over overstuffing your AR magazines so and why that may cause problems. Let's get right into this video. All right, DZ team. So I got my AR here, and right now we have almost a full magazine. Not a full magazine. We're going to take an example of here. Look, look. See, it's, it's going to seat in, right? Take a look at this, though. So we have a magazine, right? We have a window. Let's see if you can see that. Watch what the bullets do. And not yet, but did you see that? Boom, right there. These bullets here are being pushed down with the bolt closed, right? No round in the chamber. It pushes the round down. So what does that tell you? That tells you if you overstuff a magazine, it's gonna it's probably not gonna see it right. And we're gonna give an example right now. So let me take this magazine out. Let's, and don't worry, there's nothing in the chamber. Let's get another round, right? And let's put 30 rounds into the magazine. So now this magazine is 100% full, 30 round magazine. Remember, the bolt is closed, nothing in the chamber. Well, look, let's see if you can get a bolt's closed, right? Now let's see what happens if we were to, for whatever reason, want to start loading rounds. Smack, right? Well, you do, and uh, just make sure it's seated properly. Check this out. It won't, it won't seat properly. No matter what you do, the only way it's going to begin to seat properly is if you open the bolt and put one in the chamber. Now, granted, most of you will be like, well, yeah, why don't you just go, go do that? If you put in a magazine in the gun, you're probably going to want to shoot it anyways, right? Essentially, yeah, but uh, in, in, not in some cases, you might not be doing that. Let me put this down real quick. And uh, in some cases, you might not be wanting to essentially put one in the round right off the bat. What if you're just trying to go from green to amber? And if you don't know the colors in the military, green is you don't have any, any rounds in your gun or magazine in your gun. Amber's, I'm going to load my magazine, but I'm not going to put one in the chamber. Then red is putting one in the chamber. So out of those three things, there, there's still a that amber section. So something to keep in mind, I would not fully load 30 rounds in a magazine if you're going to go amber at any point in time. Now, if you're just going to go from green to red, you shouldn't have that issue, right? Because you're going to be bracking one in the chamber anyways. But that is something to keep in mind. If you're going to do that, make sure you check your magazines, make sure they're seated properly. What I like to do is, I'm going to take this uh, extra round out. Put it in my pocket. So what I like to do when I'm at the range or I'm reloading and doing a reloading drill in general. So right when I'm dropping the mag, I'm about to change magazines, grab the new magazine, seat it in, and I like to give it a tug. Just a quick little tug down to make sure it's seated properly. Because if you can pull it down and it slides out, obviously you're not seated properly. So pick it in, smack it, and then do a little, it doesn't need to be like, and like really yank it. It just be a little tug, just a little, and you can get back on target. So that's a little uh, tip for you guys. It's something that I like to do, something to keep in mind. Do 29 rounds instead of 30, or whatever the case, whatever your magazine capacity is, just do one less if you're gonna ever go to the amber state. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike, but please let us know why in the comments you didn't dislike it or why you did dislike it, and we'll work on fixing that if it's, you know, makes sense. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. If you want some DZ apparel, go to the link in our bio or in the description or whatever you're on watching this, and we will see you in the next video. Never get comfortable, guys.